All right, now what we're going to do here is start the engine for the first time after it's been rebuilt. So what happened is we uh, saw that we primed the engine, meaning we put a fake distributor here and we put a drill on it so it would turn this gear, run the oil pump and get all the oil all the way up to the rock arms, through all the bearings, everything else. Okay, so what happens, the distributor just basically goes down here. This gear took hooks on the camshaft and here on the bottom is a little slot and that slot hooks into a shaft that hooks into the oil pump way down in the oil pan. Okay, here's another diagram. This shows the whole engine, so it shows the cap, the distributor, here's the gear, and this gear, like I said, comes down here, hooks into this shaft, which hooks into the oil pump. But before we put that in there, I want to talk about the distributor itself. So if you look at a distributor, we have, you see it has eight cams, because this is an eight cylinder. Here's a condenser. Here's the points. If you look way down in here, you will see there's the contacts. You'll see that going uh, open and close every time it hits a one of the, the lobes there. It opens and closes. Every time it closes, it makes contact and sends a spark. So depending on where the rotor is pointing to the cap, is when that's going to spark and I'll show you that later on but anyway I just wanted to show you and you adjust it by turning the screw here with an allen wrench these are the weights so what happens is when the car gets going faster these weights expand and that advances the timing automatically so that's basically how it works it just spins around okay Before we put the distributor in, what we have to do is make sure that number one cylinder is here up on the top. We also have to make sure that the timing marks line up. And you'll see the lines right here, there's a zero and on the vibration damper which is uh, black, there is another line that uh, should line right up here. But since I have no idea where we are at, um, we have to find that line and get it over here. So we have to turn the engine over. The other thing we have to do is make sure that number one cylinder is up on top. So what we're going to have to do is pull the spark plug on number one. And I'm going to put like a little piece of bailing wire or whatever in there. And make sure that the cylinder is up on top. And that line lines up with zero and then when we put the distributor in it will fire on number one and start so we're going to pull number one spark plug and here it is right here Let's see if we can get in there This one's just a little harder because it's got an air conditioning unit up here, but most of these don't have air conditioning, so it won't be a problem. So there's a spark plug. Okay, now what we're going to try to do is turn the motor over and see if we can get that white line, the white line to match up. And you'll see it. Let me show it to you here. There's a zero. And that's the vibration damper that we're looking to have it come around.
camera. Yeah, it's, it's gone past it again. Here's the line right here. So it looks like it passed it. So let's just see by sticking this piece of baling wire. We're just gonna take this baling wire and stick it in the spark plug hole. Well, so that means we can stick it in there quite a bit. So that means that's 180 degrees out. So that's not where we want it. So we're gonna jog the motor and see if we can get lucky and get it to stop once again on the other side. It needs to be jacked some more. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Perfect. All right. Now, the line's lining up. So let's once more. Okay, so the, the mark is lined up. Okay, and I put this wire in the spark plug and it doesn't go in very far at all. So that is telling me that the piston is right up here. We are lined up on the two marks, one on the vibration damper and one on a uh, timing chain cover. So zero and, and zero. So now, and we know that number one cylinder is up. We'll put the spark plug back in and then we can uh, drop in the distributor. Okay, so what we're going to do is put the coil in. Here's the, there's a positive side and a negative side. Okay, so remember how I told you to label all these? Well, make sure you label them because you won't remember if, it, if you leave the car for an extended period of time. Just tighten the coil down a little bit here. It's just one screw on the bracket that holds it to the manifold. Okay, now we'll get the distributor and drop that in. Okay, now here's the distributor. Uh, I'm gonna put the cap on. It's got two screws. Here they are, right up here. And it's got, this is a square and this is a round. The round goes here, the square goes here. Just like that. That way it never can't put it on wrong. Clamp it down. If you're going to do this job, you might as well buy a new cap get some new points and condensers because this is easy easy time to do it okay now what I'm going to do is drop this in Just drop it right in this, the hole here Wiggle all the way down and then I want to figure out where this actually goes So I'm going to take the distributor cap and we're going to go to, we have to point to this one right here because this goes to number one cylinder. So when we pull this up, we have to have this, the rotor pointing. So we'll lift it up, move it over, jiggle it back down. Now, if it doesn't go all the way down, there's a gap here. It will drop down 
once the engine turns over because remember I showed you the back side of the distributor it's got that little blade well that little blade connects into the slot on the rod that comes up from the oil pump okay so we want here and here let's just check again want it to be so now here's how you tighten the cap down you push down and move those, that little lever over just like that okay do it on both sides okay now the uh, cap is on distributor is in and it will drop down as soon as we turn the motor just a touch so now let's do the firing order okay so if you look at this diagram here you'll see number one goes over to number one that's the key item the rotor has to point to number one and then here is the rest of the firing order one eight four three six five seven two okay but we can cheat too we can cheat because here it is. They give it to us. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. So um, it's always written on the engine somewhere up in the front here. Here we are, number one. So let's find out where that wire is. Number one. Okay. So. We'll stick that on spark plug number one. The next one is number eight. Okay, since it's turning this way, here is number eight. Number eight is the last one on the passenger side. Next one is four. That'll be this one here, number four. Four is second one back. Three. Three is this one over here. It's a second cylinder on the driver's side. So number three. Three. Number six so six is on the other side so it'll be two four and six that's number six five seven one three five there's number five and the next one is number seven okay and then there's one more the last one is number two so two would be the first one on the passenger side that would be this one tracing all the way back down here okay so now we have um, distributor in it's lined up with number one we have all the line all the spark plugs hooked up the only thing we need to do is oh we have to uh, put the coil wire in okay what we have to do is take the wire from the distributor and hook it up to the coil Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to leave the wire off and I'm going to turn the motor over and let the distributor drop down in place. I also want to crank it over so that the oil pumps through the whole system. Remember, we, we prime the whole engine 
with a fake distributor and a drill so we know there's oil all over here but I'm just gonna run it crank it over without starting it until I get uh, 30 40 pounds on the oil pressure gauge and that way I know we are we have oil all over the place so let me just turn the engine over now well, let's see just hook up this little hose this little hose and away we go Did you see that drop down? Okay, okay so we have uh, 40 pounds of pressure on the gauge. So now we can hook up the coil. And also, let's fasten the distributor down in place. It's got uh, this bracket that fits around the shaft. We'll just move this out of the way. Take that guy out of the way. And you can see that it fits right there. You'll also see that the distributor has dropped down. So we'll tighten this up just a little bit, not all the way, because we want to be able to move this. And um, then we'll, after we set the timing, then we'll just tighten it down for good. Okay, so we have everything ready to go. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, that's advanced too much. Advance it a little bit and hear the car running faster. And then if you go the other way, it'll slow down because it's going, it's retarding the time. So we'll pick a spot where it seems to run faster. And uh, we'll turn the timing light on after it warms up. See, the choke is still not all the way open. So it just needs a little time. So now that I have the timing about where I want it, just tighten it down so it doesn't move. And that's, that's the whole thing. That is uh, putting in the coil and then, uh, putting the distributor on. Make sure the distributor is rotor, the cap is, uh, the rotor is pointing to number one on the cap which relates to number one on the cylinder, which relates to the vibration damper where the cross marks were, vibration damper were pointed to the marks on the oil, um, the timing chain cover. And that's it, and then it's got fuel, it's got, it's hooked it up to the distributor, that's it. That's how you do the whole thing.